Humans have been domesticating bananas for around 6,000 years. As far as we can tell, they originate from the swampland areas around Papua New Guinea and are now one of the most popular fruits in the world. We grow around 115 million metric tons of bananas every year globally. That's a massive number. If you take the mass of all the humans on the planet and all the bananas we grow in a year on the planet, the bananas add up to about a third the mass of all of the humans. That's bananas. Bananas are fruits, and fruits are what plants use to create seed so that they can continue to reproduce. But where are the seeds of a banana? And are bananas berries? You might have heard that bananas are radioactive. Are they? Today, we're going to be talking about those things. Bananas are extremely popular fruits, and they have been for a really long time. They are the perfect fruit for on the go. They even have their own wrapper, and inside the wrapper, this flesh of a banana is full of carbohydrates and fiber, potassium, and a bunch of other nutrients, but they don't grow on trees. Bananas grow on banana palms. This is my banana palm. It's not had enough water. Which are actually herbs. They don't have a woody stem, so they're not trees. They are herbaceous, but they can still get pretty big. Their leaves, as you see here, are massive, and they've been used for all sorts of different reasons all over the world. They're used in religious ceremonies in different places. They're used in construction, especially for thatched roofs in certain places. And in different cuisines, they're used in cooking for the preparation and serving of food. Bananas are actually the berries of the banana palm. I know they don't quite fit our usual understanding of what a berry is, what it looks like, but they are the berries. Botanically speaking, Berries are the fleshy fruit of a plant that grows from a single flower that contains the seeds, but no stone or pit. They could have many seeds or just one. Tomatoes, grapes, currants, bananas, these are all examples of berries. This is not an exhaustive list though. And interestingly, some of the things which we culinarily consider berries like strawberries and raspberries actually aren't berries at all. Just to confuse us, sometimes the botanical and culinary definitions are different. But seeds, where are the seeds? You know, fruit has seeds. Where are the seeds in the banana? Are they just really small? Well, actually, no. Domesticated bananas, the bananas that we buy from the shops that we eat, actually don't contain any seeds. We've bred them in such a way that bananas are sterile, meaning that you can't grow another banana from a store-bought banana. There's no way. They don't have any seeds. The plants that they come from, the banana palms that we use for farming bananas, are all grown from propagations. They're clones. And I think that's pretty cool. I'm very grateful for this because before domestication, the inside of a banana looked kind of like this, which I'm sure it would have still been delicious, but compared to what we currently have, wouldn't have been much good. There are technically residual seeds in the banana, but they're essentially microscopic and totally unnoticeable. So not really worth mentioning. And I am very grateful. So bananas are berries and the ones we buy don't contain seeds because they are sterile, but have you ever heard that bananas are radioactive? Because they are. Let's talk about it. Bananas emit ionizing radiation, which is one of the kinds of radiation you don't want to be exposed to. Why do they do this? How do they do this? And is this a problem? Well, bananas naturally contain radioactive isotopes. But is this a cause for concern? Are bananas going to cause radiation poisoning or cancer? Well, uh, no, no, they're not. In fact, all living things that contain potassium are a little bit radioactive. A tiny fraction of potassium is radioactive. About 0.012% of potassium is made up of potassium 40 or K40, which experiences decay. As the atoms decay, they will release electrons in the form of beta and gamma radiation. However, it's not very radioactive. 
it doesn't decay quickly. It has a half-life of about 1.3 billion years. So relatively speaking, it's decaying very slowly and it's not releasing a lot of radiation. To put into perspective the kind of radiation we're talking about here and how much damage that they could possibly do, let's compare bananas to other things which expose humans to radiation. Flying from New York to London exposes you to the same amount of radiation as 100 bananas. Receiving a chest x-ray can be up to a thousand bananas. One session of radiotherapy will expose you to the same amount as 20 million bananas. And just living on Earth will expose you to about 100 bananas worth of radiation every day. That's just through the things around us and the sun. But what if I ate a lot of bananas? Am I at a higher risk of radiation poisoning? Well, unless you eat tens of millions of bananas in one sitting, which is impossible, it's not going to cause any problems. The radiation is contained in the potassium, which our bodies need, but don't store a lot of. The average 70 kilogram person will contain about 100 and 25 to 135 grams of potassium. Potassium is used by our bodies for all sorts of things like helping the cells to maintain the right amount of fluid, for helping muscles to contract, and to maintain blood pressure. Our bodies don't need any more than that, really, and any extra potassium will get urinated out. We don't need it. And if our body has too much potassium and it can't get rid of it fast enough, you're likely to have more problems because of the potassium than the radiation. Have you ever noticed that bananas make other fruits around them ripen faster? Or have you ever been told not to keep bananas alongside certain fruits and vegetables? Well, there's a reason for that. Bananas contain heaps of ethylene. Ethylene is released as a gas, it's a hormone, that fruit uses to ripen. It indicates to the cells within a fruit that it's time to ripen. It causes the cell walls to break down, causing the whole fruit to soften. It causes starchy compounds to break down as well, turning into more simple sugars, causing them to become sweeter. And it causes a breakdown of chlorophyll, which makes it turn from a green color to other colors. In bananas, it's yellow, but in other fruits, it could be reds or oranges or purples. And bananas release heaps of this ethylene, which causes the fruit around it to ripen faster, which is pretty cool. I made a video all about ripening on my other channel, Scott Grows and Avocado Tree, which you can check out if that's tickled your fancy. Bananas are pretty cool. They're one of the most popular food crops in the world. They're a type of berry, and the ones we buy from the shops are sterile, meaning that they don't have any seeds, which is great news for us. Also, they're a little bit radioactive, but as we know, it's nothing to be concerned about. So go out and get yourself a hand of bananas and enjoy a snack which humans have been enjoying for thousands of years. And thanks to humans and domestication, we get to enjoy this fruit that comes with its own wrapper without any seeds. I think it's pretty cool. Thank you very much for watching. I'd love to know what you thought about this video in the comments below. Make sure you subscribed to That's Pretty Cool for more pretty cool videos about interesting things. I hope to inspire a sense of wonder about the world around us here on this channel. Thank you once again for watching. Take care, stay curious, and we'll see you next time.